that there is only one night which is called the night of power and that night it is one of the last ten nights of Ramadan one of the old nights of the last ten of Ramadan but it is not in Sha'bat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran فيها يفرق كل أمر حكيم أمر من عندنا الله says by the kitab by the book the script of the Quran we have revealed the Quran in the night of the power and that night Allah says فيها يفرق كل أمر حكيم in that night, we dis every affairs of wisdom are distinct in that month. So that decree, that decree falls into that particular night, which is at the end of Ramadan, not in the middle of Sha'ban. Therefore, there is nothing called Laylatul Hukm in the Sha'ban be it 14 or 15, that is not Islamically, it's not written in the Quran, it's not written in the authentic, authentic hadith. And if you consider, for example, one hadith reported by Aisha radiallahu anha saying, no. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast the month of Sha'ban long. He used to, she said, I have never seen him fasting the entire month, except that it is Ramadan. And he used to fast more in the month of Sha'ban. And that is, according to many other hadiths, it is the first part of Sha'ban. And what is the wisdom behind that he, he fasts frequently in the first 15 days of Sha'ban. And then he stops fasting when it reaches to the 15th or 14th. And from that, he doesn't fast the next 15 days. The wisdom is very clear. If you use common sense, you know that the body needs training. So the first two weeks of Sha'ban it is for training your body, your belly, your uh, mind, your uh, uh, morality, everything you train. So you train yourself for two weeks, that's two weeks training, both physically and mentally. And then you come to another two weeks, you take a break. That two weeks when you are taking break, that break is only, is that so that you, your body regain the nutrition that he lost. So your body will regain power, energy, you are re-energizing yourself. You are becoming more strong and active after you lost some weight in the last two weeks. So it is only physical and mental training. Those uh, uh, training. Those two weeks are those trainings. And the next two weeks, uh, you are preparing for the Ramadan. And. Uh, to go back to the uh, what is called Laylatul Hukm in the middle of Sha'ban. If imagine those who consider that 15th Sha'ban or 14th Sha'ban is the night when all affairs of wisdom, good or bad, are distinct in those in that day, and anyone who expected to get um, forgiveness, he gets forgiveness that night in the middle of Sha'ban. If that is true, then everybody, those who were getting forgiveness were forgiven 
in the middle of Shaban. Those who were gaining no rewards, they already gained in that night. Then what's the point of waiting for Ramadan? Because you are already pure. And you don't need more. You are, that is enough for you. Therefore, it shows that in the Ramadan, when you are starting, as many hadiths also says, in the first two weeks is that um, you get um, uh, forgiveness, you look for forgiveness. And that forgiveness means shows that in many months you were uh, indulged into um, issues of worldly affairs and now you need to purify yourself to cleanse your, your mind. But in the other way, if this month, the, the hikmah, the wisdom behind this is that in this month of Sha'ban, the first 15 days, you only take, uh, you train yourself, which is that you can only fast every other day, not every day. Because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast one day and break his fasting the other day. So you need, you may fast seven days, because the first 15 days, 